Hello my beautiful dolls, my name is Myra Ace and welcome to my stunning YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create this Lady Gaga telephone slash the monster ball 2.0 inspired look. I was definitely inspired by this telephone music video, I mean obviously the eyeshadow and the lipstick, but the hair, well I mean the hair is also kind of inspired by, you know, both situations, both moments, I mean hello. But as far as I remember she wore similar hair for like a couple of dates um, of the monster ball tour, so I snatched a wig on AliExpress, <laughs> I begged my hairdresser to cut it, you know, the way I wanted it. It's kind of like rockabilly, punk, chic type of moment. Short bangs, bright lip, navy blue eyeshadow. Hello. Are we living? I'm living. So if you want to see how I created this Lady Gaga inspired look, then keep on watching. But before we get into the video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a brand new video. Let's get into it. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray this Catrice Prime and Fine spray. I, I'm actually obsessed with it, it's really good. I use it as a setting spray and as kind of like a priming spray as well. It reminds me of Max Fix Plus, but it's less expensive and honestly, it works just as well. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we're gonna be doing a Lady Gaga inspired look. It's definitely inspired by the makeup from the telephone music video as well as, you know, the look she wore for the Monster Ball just in general, you know. To be particular, the Monster Ball 2.0, um, the yellow wig, you know, bright lip. I'm not gonna do eyeliner probably, I'm just gonna do like, you know, the makeup that is more like from the telephone music video. I wanna do face tapes. Every time I do face tapes, at least every time I try to do them, <laughs> they never adhere properly, so pray for me. I'm just gonna use some wrapping alcohol. I'm using Crayolans Mastic Spirit Gum Remover. It's basically alcohol, so I'm just removing like all the oil from my skin in this particular area. So it's nice and dry. I don't know why, but for me, like working with Spirit Gum is always a challenge. I never quite mastered applying it and just gluing it down the waves with it. I don't know why, maybe I'm just like impatient and I don't wait like long enough for it to properly dry and to become, oh God sticky and shit. I don't know. Hopefully this time it will work. Even like the consistency of it just kind of scares me. I saw Vivian applying her face tapes with it, so I'm kind of... She kind of goes like this. Oh yeah, I can see it now. There's a fly. Jesus Christ. Go away. Okay, yeah, so it becomes very sticky. There we go. And then she applies face tape. Just like that. really presses it into the skin. This is my first time properly like putting a face tape using Mastix, so we will see how that goes. I wanna go around and just remove like the excess. Okay, I think it's, I think it's on, right? Oh yeah. Oh honey, she is pulled. She is, she is snatched. Oh, I love that. Okay. See, it's all about the application. I feel like this entire time I was trying to work with Crayola and my sticks. I was just not patient enough. I'm gonna do the same thing. I think I put this one too close. Well, you know what? Hopefully the wig will cover it up, so <laughs> whatever. Oh, I don't think I like this. Do I like this? I don't think I do. I mean, this side, this side is good. This one. Oh, actually, if I pull it like, well, I think I should have put them like a little bit higher. Yeah, this looks wrong. You know, if you don't fuck up, you don't learn. So today we're learning new things. Yeah, I probably should, should put them like right here at least to get this eyelid because this is clearly not giving. Okay, ding dong, we fucking did it. Yeah, this is way better. Hopefully they won't pop. <laughs> let's pray. <laughs> okay, so now that the face types are on, let's prime the skin. I'm going with my usual combo, the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer and the Professional by Benefit. These two are my favorites. This one is more so like all over primer just to give the skin kind of a little bit of a slip and the Professional one is just to fill in the pores a little bit. And just 
just applying the professional kind of all over the forehead just because you know i feel like it's the first thing that gets like really oily i mean also the nose but the forehead is like one thing i have the most problem with and i feel like before like back in the day i used to be very careful with primer and i would just like pat it around and now i feel like working it into the skin really helps my makeup to stay longer because you know when you put a primer like very carefully and you're not really working it into the skin it tends to kind of sit on the surface of your skin and not really just doing anything beneficial okay so now i'm gonna use cody airspun powder in the shade translucent and i'm just gonna set my primer i do this step mainly when i do like drug makeup because i feel like when i do like more natural makeup i don't really want my face to be like super matte i mean i obviously do but not to the extent of the madness that I prefer to have when I do drag makeup because it takes me so long to do my face I feel like this step definitely helps with you know just in general keep everything in place I had to sleep in drag the other day I put a friend of mine in drag and I just you know because it takes me so long to get in drag I just did my face the night before went to bed I slept like a fucking mommy I'm not even kidding I slept like this just with my face on, with no lashes. Yeah, woke up, brushed my teeth, showered. <laughs> if you could see the way I showered, you know, because I had like my neck done and my collarbones, I literally had to like do fucking aerobics. But you know what? The photos turned out great and you know, the friend that I put in drag was very happy. So yeah, that's the only thing that matters. Okay, so the foundation I'm gonna be wearing is Active Wear Super Stay Foundation by Maybelline in the shade O2. I think it's called Porcelain. Honestly, this foundation is amazing, but I'm telling you, it stayed on me for more than 30 hours. I am not exaggerating. And not only it stayed for 30 hours, it actually looked good on me. It photographs beautifully. The only thing is, it oxidizes and it's definitely on a drier side, so be very cautious, especially if you have a very dry skin. Another benefit of this foundation is that it's full coverage, so actually, you know what? I used it to cover the brows, and even though the person didn't really have like a very thick brows still it you know it performed beautifully and it covered the eyebrows so you know okay so now i'm gonna take contouring stick by anastasia beverly hills in the shade shadow i'm just gonna whack on my contour real quick just around my forehead then taking a smaller brush i'm just gonna contour my nose bring contour into the brow. I'm just going around with a bigger fluffier brush that I use to contour my forehead, just to kind of blend everything. I'm gonna use my RCMA palette just to warm up the complexion. And I'm using these two shades right here. Now I'm gonna take the darkest shade from the palette and I'm gonna deepen the temples a little bit more like around the hairline. Then I'm gonna take my foundation brush and I'm just gonna go over everything and just kind of blend it together. Then I'm gonna take Krylon TV Paint Stick in the shade 070 and I'm just gonna do my regular highlights. I feel like going in with a finger really helps the product to warm up and blend into the skin more seamlessly and just you know, way easier than just applying it with a brush because you know, this stick itself is, it's quite hard and rather than applying it straight away, I feel like warming it up definitely helps with blending. Then I'm gonna take my foundation brush and I'm just gonna blend out the edges. And I'm kind of stretching it out to my contour and to my bronzer that I applied before just to, you know, just kind of blend it in and kind of slightly lighten it up. I don't know, it just kind of looks right to me. And I'm taking a smaller brush and just working around the brows, just blending, basically. Now let's do the nose. I'm taking my Kid & Co 1.20 brush and just applying the highlight. I used to do it with a flat brush and then blend it out with like a bigger brush, but I feel like, you know, using a smaller brush just really helps to apply it more precisely and blend it out more precisely rather than just using like a huge brush. I'm going to take the same brush that I used to contour my nose and I'm just gonna blend out the edges. Okay, now I'm gonna do the tip of my nose. Taking a small blending brush and I'm just blending out the bottom of the highlight. 
Okay, now I'm taking the same brush. I'm just gonna do the rest of my highlights, I guess. <laughs> turning my head to see if the line that I'm building is straight enough and then I'm looking straight down and just fixing the line if it's not straight. And I feel like dragging the white foundation down my nose first kind of helps to create a line and then to build up the coverage and kind of restore the texture. I just, you know, stipple it on and it's kind of back to normal. Okay, so this is a nose. So now that we have a nose on, let's do the brows. Okay, so for the brows, I'm gonna be using a light brown eyeshadow by Effect. I don't remember the number, I'm gonna put it on the screen. And I'm just gonna start building the shape. And for this, I find it important to relax your face and just go for it. I go little by little, not adding too much eyeshadow, and I'm just kind of blending it very lightly towards the center of my face, but I'm gonna go with a blending brush that I use to blend out my foundation and just gonna blend it even more a little bit later. It's just, you know, to create like a general shape. Now I'm building up the arch as well as the tail. I want the brow to be quite high up, so really just taking my time in building the arch. You know, this brow is mainly like base, because later on I'm gonna be using like a black eyeliner to cover it up. You know, I really want to imitate that brow that she had in the telephone music video. Now I'm just gonna use my foundation brush, and I'm gonna use Coralon 3 Paint Stick just to kind of cover the front up, just kind of blend it into the skin. I'm going back with an angle brush, you know, it's a lot of back and forth just to, you know, in order to get that ombre blended type of situation going on. Then I'm gonna take my P. Louise 7072 brush. It's a nice flat brush. It's actually one of my favorite flat brushes that I own. It's very nice for carving out a crease and just, you know, going around the brow. And I'm just going to correct the top of the brow. And then I'm just feathering out this white into my foundation. And if I feel like I dragged the white a little bit too far, I'm just gonna take my contouring brush slash bronzer brush, and again, I'm just gonna blend everything together. Now I'm just gonna put a wet wipe over a spatula, and I'm just gonna remove everything that is under the brow. I learned this trick from P. Louise, so all credit goes to her. And I'm gonna go under the brow with Krylon Tweet Paint Stick. I'm just taking like a hair thin brush and I'm highlighting this tiny arch that I created. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of Louise base and kind of apply it on top of the Krylon TV paint stick that I applied earlier. Okay, so this is one eyebrow done. I'm gonna do the second one off camera and then we'll be right back to do the eyes. Okay, so the brows are on and I also did my foundation and first of all, to begin our eye look, I'm gonna go in with Super Stay Matte Ink by Maybelline in the shade 105 Explorer. I've been obsessed with those lipsticks, like no joke, I literally just go in straight with an applicator and I literally just use them on my bare eyes as a base and then I take like a flat brush, kind of spread it out on the eyelid. And then I'm gonna take like a fluffy brush and just go around the edges and blend everything out. What I really love about those lipsticks is that you can use them in so many ways. I've been using them as eyeshadow bases, also as blushers, they're so good. And you know, the thing is, they have so many shades, from like neutrals to, you know, this gorgeous navy blue. So you know, when purchasing like a color like this, even if you like don't wear it on your lips, you can always use it as an eyeshadow base. Okay, so now that our base is kind of on, um, I'm just gonna take like another flat brush and I'm gonna dip into my Beauty Babe palette, uh, particularly in the shade Stormy Night, this gorgeous navy blue. And I'm basically just gonna set the base that we put in 
I'm taking the same fluffy brush, just gonna blend everything together. Today I'm going for like a very blown out type of rounded eye. I'm not going for like any cut creases or anything. It's going to be like very soft and blended. I'm just taking like the same shade on a fluffy brush and I'm just smoking it out. Then I'm gonna take the same lipstick on the same flat brush and I'm just gonna apply it underneath. take my Kid Co blending brush and I'm just gonna blend out the edges. Then I'm gonna take like a small detailing brush and I'm just gonna pack that navy blue eyeshadow. Taking the same blending brush and just blending out the edges. Then I'm gonna take this Morphe brush and I'm just gonna kind of go around and correct like any gaps or just kind of define certain areas you know what i mean taking a clean brush and just kind of like blending out this inner corner softening it a little bit you know it's a very simple look but i've been doing it a lot lately i don't know i feel like i'm obsessed with this particular shade of the eyeshadow and just you know using lipsticks as an eyeshadow base is definitely like one of my favorite things to do recently so i just wanted to show you like what i'm currently doing what i'm currently obsessed with now i'm gonna dip into the shade eclipse from psyche's box palette by clara psyche this one it's the blackest black that i have in my entire makeup collection so and i'm just gonna deepen the crease i'm basically like relaxing my eye and just trying to define that crease and you know because the eyelid on my right eye is a little bit droopy i'm just kind of like trying to create a new crease if you will going back with that eyeshadow brush that i used to define the crease with navy blue and just kind of like blending out the black i'm just you know going back and forth and trying to make everything work then i'm gonna take detailing brush and just darken the outer corner of the lower lash line Taking Morphe brush with navy blue on it and just blending out the edges. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this Vamp Wet and Dry Eyeshadow by Pupa in the shade White Snow, I believe. I don't know, it's basically like a white, pure white shimmery eyeshadow. And I'm gonna take it on my Morphe brush. And I'm just gonna pop it on the inner corner. And I'm kind of bringing it into the eyelid, under the eye. And if I feel like I've gone too far, I can always go back with, you know, my brush that I used to apply my navy blue and just kind of blend it all together. Same thing on the eyelid, just really pressing that eyeshadow into my inner corner because I really want it to be like intense, especially like in this particular area. And then I'm gonna take this blue from Alexis Stonex Revolution palette and I'm just gonna pop it on my finger. And you know, I really want to dig my finger in it. There we go. Ooh, and I'm just gonna pop it on the eyelid. Ooh. I absolutely love this topper, it's so pretty. I used to think that it's supposed to be like an eyeshadow, like out of all the toppers, it's supposed to be like one eyeshadow. Then my dumbass actually realized that it's a topper that's supposed to be applied on top of already existing like base, you know, like for example, like this one. I think it's looking absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can see, but ooh, I love it. Okay, so this is basically one eye done, I'm gonna do the second eye of camera and I'll be right back to do the rest of the makeup basically, yeah. Okay, so as I already mentioned, I'm obsessed with Maybelline's lipsticks and before I set my entire face with powder, I just wanna use this shade Dreamer as a cream blush and I'm basically just gonna apply it right here. And I'm gonna take my brush that I used to apply my contour and my bronzer and I'm basically just gonna stipple it on. I usually have a problem with blush, like if I just do a powder blush, it usually like disappears from my face. So I feel like this step really helps to kind of keep the blush on my face throughout the day. Even like when I do just a regular makeup, I do this step and look at this, look at the material, gorgeous. Look at the difference. 
The funny thing is, I saw the Mama Mitchell using uh, his blush on his Instagram, and I was like, hmm, that kind of looks like a liquid lipstick, you know? And I was like, wait a second, I actually like have a perfect like blush color lipstick that I can actually use as a cream blush. So I tried it one day and listen, I've been obsessed ever since. And you know, you can try this hack too and the thing is when you apply like a cream blush when you powder it you don't really have to apply like a powder blush afterwards because you know it's already pretty intense on its own but you know i still like to go with a powder on top anyway and since we're doing lady gaga inspired look and i feel like the monster ball 2.0 was very like 80s inspired it was like very neon and like her costumes if you ever watched like the monster ball in Madison Square Garden, they were like very over the top, very like bright. And I feel like we just have to, you know, do like a neon blush. So I'm basically gonna take this Melly Pro lipstick, which is like really, really bright, which I'm gonna use later uh, to fill in my lips um, in the shade LM05. And I kind of want to darken up like, you know, the socket of the cheek a little bit more. Ooh. Oh god, I hope it blends out. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, this is perfect. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Are you kidding me? I can't. Look at this. And this is all cream. I cannot breathe. I literally cannot breathe. This is so good. You guys, this blush. Ugh. Ugh. I'm living, I'm breathing, I am dying. I literally cannot stop. I want more, I want more. <laughs> okay, let's set everything with powder. I'm gonna use RCMA and I'm just gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna set everything. And for the rest of the face, I'm gonna use Cody Air Spawn. Okay, so I'm gonna paint my neck off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a bunch of bronzers and I'm just gonna like reinforce all the contours and whatnot. Kind of bring back to life that face. In case you're wondering like what bronzers I'm using, I'm using Cream Puff Pressed Powder by Max Factor in the shade No Beige as well as some bronzers from BH Cosmetics Contouring Pro Palette I depotted them and I put them like in a magnet palette so it's more comfortable for me to use Now I'm gonna use Paisa Eyeshadow in the shade 666 and I'm just gonna contour my nose I'm kind of bringing it into the eyeshadow and into the brow. Then I'm taking like the darkest shade from BH Cosmetics palette and I'm just gonna like dip in the outer portion of my face. Now I'm gonna take this powder by Makeup Revolution. I actually used to hate this powder because um, originally I ordered it and I thought it was going to be like a translucent powder because on the website it said that uh, allegedly it's translucent, but in reality it's just pure white so you know if you know me i love highlighting and i love white eyeshadows for doing that so i'm basically using it like as a white eyeshadow i have a crushed taco from sugar pill so i'm gonna kind of use it as my nose highlight now let's apply some blush i'm gonna be using these two blushes from divage i'm just gonna mix them up and reinforce the blush that we already have. It's not that it needs to be reinforced, it's more so that I want to add a little bit more of blush going over the temples as well. And if you know me, of course, I just have to use my favorite blush from LA Girl in a shade Just Pinched. It's such a beautiful, bright pink blush, so I'm just gonna apply it just on the outer portion of the face. I love these blushes, they're so good. They're so cheap and they're so pigmented. And the formula is just amazing, they stay on. No joke, I use those blushes even like without any foundation, just like a little bit of like a moisturizer and a sunscreen, just a little bit of powder on top. And those blushes, they stay on the entire day. I've been kind of obsessed with applying highlighter with a pen brush. I used to kind of apply it in the front of my face and I would just mainly kind of focus it on the highest points of my cheeks. So when I turn around, you kind of can see, you know, 
the glow happening instead of just, you know, having like this blob of highlight. Now I'm gonna use Pupa eyeshadow that I used before to highlight my brow bone. And I'm gonna take it on this brush and I'm gonna spot highlight just to create like a spotlight on my cheekbone. Do you see this? Ooh, so pretty. And it kind of creates this, you know, face-tuned highlight. And I'm probably gonna use like some toppers from Alexis Stone X Revolution palette just for like some extra sparkle. I'm gonna use a little bit of pink. Just gonna brush the lashes, make sure that they're nice and separated. The mascara I'm using is Artistic Volume Mascara by Vivian Sabo my all-time favorite. I'm just really getting in there and covering all the lashes. I'm probably gonna wear like a wispy lash and just later on like cover it up with mascara because as far as I remember Gaga's makeup, it was like a lot of eyeshadow and the lashes were kind of, you know, the regular size, not like the drag blush. So I think I'm gonna apply more blush. Am I crazy? Yes, I am. Am I gonna regret it? Um. Probably not, because you know, the wig that I'm gonna be wearing is like neon yellow. So I definitely need like a bright, deep neon blush. So I'm gonna dip into this palette by Makeup Revolution. Just gonna mix like two bottom shades right here. And I'm mainly focusing the blush on the outer portion of my face just to kind of deepen the cheekbone even more. Then I wanna do a little bit of eyeliner just like on the lash line, I don't want to do a wing or anything, it's just going to be like a little bit of black. This is definitely like my favorite eyeliner so far. It stays on, it doesn't transfer, you can put it on your waterline. And trust me, like I have very watery eyes and even like with my watery eyes, this eyeliner stays on. Now I'm just gonna apply that black pencil on my waterline. Okay, for the lashes, I'm gonna be using these wispies. I wouldn't say like it makes a huge difference, but it definitely adds a little bit more volume. And I definitely prefer not only apply glue on the eyelash, but also on the lash line, just because I feel like it provides like a very sticky surface. And since, you know, the lash band is very small, it's nice to have like a little bit more of security. Let it dry a little bit and place the lash. And what I love about this glue is that it's so sticky and like it sticks immediately. And because like we have a very smoky eye, you can't really tell where the lash or your lash starts and where the false lash starts. Okay, so while the lashes are drying, I'm gonna do the beauty marks. While the beauty marks are drying, I'm gonna bake a little bit. I'm gonna be using this Face Studio Setting Powder by Maybelline. I'm obsessed with this powder. Listen, on the days when I don't wanna wear like any foundation and I feel like my skin is, you know, good enough, I can wear this one as my foundation, you know, a little bit of moisturizer, sunscreen, a little bit of primer, and this powder on top. I wouldn't say that it's like full, full coverage. It's definitely like a light to medium, but look at this. It's perfect for like cutting your cheek. It's very blurring, I would say. I definitely use it like to highlight in my daily makeup routine. I actually found out about this powder like by accident. I was looking for a skin tone setting powder and I got like the Fit Me powders and this one as well. I'm not gonna lie, like the Fit Me powders are not my favorite because they're kind of chalky, but this one is definitely my favorite. I'm gonna go back with that mascara just to really coat the falsies as well as my own lashes and kind of mix them. I want that kind of chunky but natural looking eyelash. Now I'm gonna take my NYX black liner and I'm just gonna use a little bit of Duraline to kind of revamp it because it's kind of old and I rarely use like a black eyeliner. And I'm gonna try to fill in my eyebrows. Okay, so I filled in the brows and now I'm just gonna take a little bit of black eyeshadow and kind of blend the front a little bit more. Or maybe I should take like a brown eyeshadow, let's see. I'm definitely gonna do like a little bit of both. And then I'm gonna take white eyeshadow and just gonna soften the front a little bit. 
So something like this. Okay, so I quickly contoured my lips and now I'm just gonna take some Manly Pro lipstick that I used before and I mixed it with Maybelline's Pioneer liquid lipstick just so it's not as dry and I'm just gonna fill in the center of the lip. So kind of the outside is more so red and the inside is like hot pink. So something like this, again, the lip combo that I'm wearing is Manly Pro lipstick in the shade LMO5 and Maybelline's Superstay Ink in the shade Pioneer and on the outside, Lady Cuts You by Wet n Wild. All right, my dolls, so makeup is pretty much done. All I have to do now is put on my wig, accessories and nails. <laughs> I'm gonna do all of that off camera and I'll be right back to show you my final Lady Gaga inspired makeup look. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm actually gonna put my wig on on camera because I feel like it's the most fun part and I always skip it. And you just have to see the transformation. I hope these won't pop. Oh God. Are they holding? Jesus Christ. Can I do some tighter? Okay, now we're talking. Before they pop, let's put on a wig. Oh my God. I swear to God, I dreamt about a yellow wig since I was, um, I wanna say like 12 or 11. Oh my God, I'm living. <laughs> Do you ever just get in drag and you feel yourself way too hard? Honey, this is me right now. Okay, I need hair clips. Hold on. Okay, let's glue it on. Okay, this side is on. I saw some drag queen do this trick. I think it was Wigs by Vanity or someone else. I don't quite remember, but you basically just have to like, put powder puff in tights or like a wig cap and just kind of tap it so it glues down i mean it's not perfect but you know because you know this is my first time it's not too bad it's manageable nothing photoshop can fix i mean we're just gonna cover it up with hair anyway so hold on i need a brush you guys i'm living look at this Ugh, look at this hair i can't this is so cool Okay, let's put the accessories on. Hoops, hoop to doops. Come on, there we go. Hoop number one, hoop number two. Let's put the choker on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is working. Okay, let's put on nails. I have these Louboutin nails that are basically black and red on the inside. What, what, what was I thinking when I was putting nails on the left hand first? Honestly, my mind, uh, shocking. Fascinating. All right, my little, so this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Enjoyed making it. I am absolutely living for this Lady Gaga inspired look. It's inspired by the telephone and the monster ball. Obviously, the hair is definitely inspired by the monster ball. She wore like similar hair on a couple of dates. And listen, when I first saw the monster ball, I was like, I think I was like 12 or 11. And I literally was like, I want all of those costumes, all, all of the wigs. I want to meet this woman. I want to hug her. I want to tell her how much I love her. You know, Lady Gaga has a very special place in my heart. And creating this look today was definitely like, I want to say like a full circle moment because, you know, I remember like being 12 or 11. Do not remember like the first time I saw the monster ball and like saw this yellow hair and fell in love with her? But yeah, I, I remember being like this kid being obsessed with Lady Gaga and I was like, oh my god, I want to be like her. I want to be, you know, I want to wear makeup, the wigs and you know, the studs and everything and nails. I mean, hello, we finally arrived, am I right? Let me know in the comments below what do you think. Um, definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a brand new video. Oh, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at my hangmanocreus and also the Baba Mayaga. This is my second account. I post soft glam looks and just like personal stuff in there. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for supporting me. And I think that's all, really. Ooh, ooh, look at this. <laughs> also, take a look at those stunning photos I took and edited all by myself. Wow, I am such a talented hoe. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, dolls. Pause up. I swear to God, I'm gonna sleep like this. I'm not even joking. This is this is everything. This is everything. Ambulance. You no ambulance. You broke everything. <laughs> okay, I need to lay down. Seriously, this is too much.